Hello, YouTubers. Sign 543 in the house. Okay, I could not think of how to open this video because I've done so many different random openings. So I thought in this video I would have a random teenage singing moment. I've been so many places in my life and time. I've sung a lot of songs and made some bad lines. I've acted on my life in stages with 10,000 people watching. But we're alone now, and I am singing this song to you. Anyway, don't you just hate it when you go to turn on a light bulb and the darn thing just pops and then you're caught in the dark and you're like feeling around for something familiar and then all of a sudden your hand finds something enormous and covered with hair and you just like scream and scream and scream and scream and scream. I hate that. Actually, that happened to me once, but then I realized it was my own head, so <laughs> I stopped screaming. Boy, I must have looked silly. Especially since it was at the public library and we were just going into that study room and the librarian was like right behind me. But if it's not your own head and you do find something big and hairy in the dark like that, you scream like at the top of your lungs. I usually try to scream at the bottom of my lungs because usually in times like that, the bottom of your lungs gets so neglected, doesn't it? And you just know that like Bigfoot has found his way into your room because you have that big cabin up in the mountains in Oregon and you wear Birkenstocks and plaid shirts and you remember the story that guy told you down at the corner market who was wearing those chaps and the tube top and he says that he spotted Bigfoot on at least three occasions. Okay, never mind that he's also claimed to have seen Elvis, Jimmy Hoffa, and Christy McNichol. Whatever happened to her? This you actually believe because the lights are all out and stories like that always seem so real when you're scared or drunk or scared and drunk or scared to get drunk or tarred and feathered. I've never been tarred and feathered but my uncle has. He told me so. Actually he just said tired but he's from Alabama so it sounded like tarred. I thought that for the longest time but I wasn't drunk. Not all the way drunk. I was about 81.34% drunk, if you don't count the weed. I do. I don't smoke it, but I do count it. That's fine. The cops didn't think so. They also didn't believe me when I said I didn't smoke it. They didn't believe that, but they did believe me when I said I had a gun. I must have been very convincing on that one. Probably the acting classes. I've never had acting classes, but my neighbor has, and it might have rubbed off. Who knows? Having a gun was a joke, but you know, they weren't amused. Apparently, you get a job at an airport, you have to surrender your sense of humor at the door. The strip search was fun though. I asked them if they'd play some, you know, razzy dazzy music while I stripped, but they just said no. They're uptight down there. They said I had to submit to a cavity search, but I just said no sorry. I knew they weren't dentists. Besides, I don't have any cavities. I have dentures. Not in my mouth. I wear a set around my neck on a chain sometimes. They're my good luck charm, which... <sighs> They don't work because ever since I started to wear them, I have not had a date. Not one. But I do like them because they were my grandmother's. I think she wants them back though because every time I go to visit her at that home, she keeps looking around for them. I guess maybe I should have asked her before I took them, but I was just afraid she'd say no. Okay, actually she's not my real grandmother, but she does look very similar to a lady who assaulted my grandmother in Fresno last year with a sponge cake. Don't ask. Except that this lady is actually a man named Herbert or Gary or something. I don't remember exactly. The important thing is, I just visit him on occasion because he just loves to tell me stories about his childhood and I call him Mrs. Threadgood like she's that nice old lady on fried green tomatoes and we just have a wonderful time together. He does keep telling me to stop and wants to know who the hell I am anyway, but you know, old people do get confused. So anyway, I just hate when bulbs pop like that, don't you? Very annoying. What was I saying? So, the recording, that's why. This is what I have to work with. So, tell everybody out there how much you love my videos. So, tell everybody out there how much you love my videos. Every time I hear you talk, I want to put a good 